Okay, here we are in the front living room. Walk right in the front door. This whole main living area has newer LVP flooring, which is that fake wood. It's a linen closet right off the living room. Nice big double window. The front has a screened in porch. I'll take you out there in a moment. Just as you walk in the front door, you head into the dining room, den area, kitchen, and then down this hall would be the bedrooms. Most of the light bulbs are burned out here. This look, house looks like it hasn't been lived in, in a while. And as you watch this video, you see a bunch of the items that are around the house. They've had a couple of estate sales. so. It's not a messy house, it's just they set everything out to be sold. Here you have 16 inch tile floor. Nice transition there. This bathroom's in decent shape. Single vanity. And nice redone tile shower. This is an excellent shape. The lighting doesn't work. This would need to be replaced. Probably something more modern, maybe a Bluetooth. Light bulbs are burned out, so I can't really show you how much nicer this is, but this is in good shape. Come across this hallway to one of the bedrooms, one of three. Older fixture, some popcorn ceiling. This has been redone. So this house has had some repairs. All the molding looks good. Pocket slider door works nicely. Okay. Come in here, the carpet shot. I mean, you could clean this and use it, or you could just replace it. A little cut out there. You know, you could almost envision like a, a cushion on there, reading books right here by the window. Nice large size closet. Paint in this room is in good condition. The ceiling in this room is in good condition. Fixture needs to be replaced. All throughout the house, all the outlets and probably new electrical units need to be replaced in these all throughout the house. Okay, they're all in this condition, but that's minor. You'll notice mismatching doors. So they're for, certainly functional, but you may want to consider that you'd have to replace doors. And what I mean by that is, here's a six panel door, two six panel doors. This door's in good shape, so it would match. But then you have the old style flat door. So if that's important to you, there's another old style flat door and an old style flat door. So if that's important to you, you know, you have to keep in mind that you have a few doors that need to be replaced. Again, carpet, uh, bedroom number two, carpet, same condition, some stains, looks like some pet stains. I am confident that this could be cleaned and used, even if it's for a year. Your molding's in good shape, the paint's in good shape, the ceiling's in good shape. Old fixture, maybe it needs some updating, matching little window nook. Okay. These are old Florida style windows. They're the, the three tier crank outs. So throughout the whole house, something to keep in mind, Lindsay and Matt, are that, uh, you know, at some point in time, this house could probably use all new windows, which would be amazing, but that's a cost. That's an expense. Certainly don't have to do it right now, but at some point in time, you may want to consider it. And then again, same carpet into the master bedroom. Master bedroom significantly bigger. Again, the ceiling is in fairly decent shape. There's a couple of water issues there and there. But again, 
the roof got tore up. You can see a lot of soffit and fascia damage on this side of the house, which is the side by the water. All these items are listed for sale. So that's why they're scattered about. Large walk-in closet. Very deep. It's probably 10 foot by three foot. Double door. This is a nice feature. French doors out to the lanai. At one point in time, this lanai was covered with a screen. That could be redone. Again, you've got the same matching 16 inch tile. This little contraption here is to get at the guts of this jacuzzi tub. I don't know the condition of this jacuzzi tub. It doesn't look like it's in the best shape, but this could be taken out and a new one put in, whether it's a tub, a shower, whatever. Okay. So it's not the end of the world, but I just don't think that this tub is reliable at this point. Could be wrong. As you open in here, you know, it's in fairly decent shape, the wall, whatnot, but it doesn't look like this has been used in a while. Newer commode. This is a large bathroom. There's a room in here for a double sink. You just have to replace this, put two sinks. So lots of room in here. Lots of beautiful light. It's very bright in here. But again, some updating. This house is priced accordingly. I even think that you can go lower in price. It's going to need a roof for sure. It's, you probably are going to want to at some point in time to fix up the back lanai. There's such a big area back there that can be screened in. We saw the bathroom here. Let me take you on into the kitchen. Okay, so you're going to have granite countertops. It's really nice. Nice, beautiful granite. A double sink, newer kitchen upgrades, stainless steel. This just needs a cleaning, a little bit of mildew, just needs a cleaning. Cupboards are in pretty decent shape. Soft clothes. So again, Lindsay Matt, this is sweat equity. This is cleaning, this is painting. You know, some minor drywall work and things like that in the house if you wanted to. Beautiful little tile black splash. And then this kind of opens up into your dining living area. So this pops out, comes across. You got two windows here. French doors again. This long wall for knickknacks, television, whatever. Nice little cubby here. Tons of light in this house. I like this. Now, here they had started having issues. Obviously, the wind came from this side. You know, this is a matter of cutting a four foot by eight foot sheet of drywall out, redoing it. I mean, it's not that simple, but it's it's not that hard either. Again, this is priced right. You know, some drywall work right here, but it's not the end of the world. Everything that I'm seeing upstairs looks decent. When they replace the roof, they'll probably have to do a little bit of sheeting replacement. Okay. You know, so you have to budget for a roof. Take you out into the garage. The garage is nice and clean. I opened the garage door so that we could get a little light in the garage. Okay, come in here, 16 foot tile, same. Lindsay, washer and dryer room, very large, plenty of storage space. This could be reconfigured a little bit if you'd like. Here's an example of those old, older style single pane windows. Nothing wrong with them, but you probably at some point in time could replace them, okay? Electric panel looks good. They've got these temporary totes here. I, those would probably stay, but at the same time, you could probably put a nice countertop in here. Um, you know, there's things you could do here. Looks to me like the house has been repiped for water. Out here into the garage. Single car garage. It's in decent shape, it really is. Newer garage door. It works, I tried it. 
Not sure of the year of the air conditioner, but it doesn't look old to me. It's in pretty decent shape. You know, there's your water heater. That looks like it's been recently replaced in the last five or six years. It's hardwired into the wall, which is up the code. Here's your repipe. This is why I say the house has been repiped. All those go up. So it's nice that the house has been repiped. Let me take you out into the backyard. You're going to want to see some of this. I'm fairly certain a contractor or a person who's pretty handy can get this taken care of. But you walk out into this lovely backyard. It's beautiful. A mango tree right there, oak tree, cabbage palms, nice. Big wide open backyard. There's a lot of space here, you guys. But look at this, this concrete pad all the way over to here. That had a uh, an aluminum lanai. There's the depth of it. This was all covered in all the way over to that corner. And here's the damage from the wind. Obviously this got sucked off and this is the damage from it being sucked off. So, you know, this soffit material, fascia material needs to be replaced. Whether or not you keep the screen for now is up to you. Whether you build a pergola, whether you just leave this as an open area, it's all, it's a clean slate. You know, obviously it needs a whole new roof. So you're probably looking at 20 grand for roof and soffit repair and things like that. Okay. All the way around here. More soffit repair. I wouldn't be afraid of this. It's just whether or not you want to deal with it or not. I would not be afraid of this. You know, it just needs new fascia material, soffit material. Probably have some wood that needs to replace some of the deck. Decking up top. Way around, this seems to be the side of the house that took the brunt of the storm. A double gate, which is wonderful. You can pull your toys back here, pull your boat back here. He has a boat trailer sitting on the side of the house. It's nice. This could go by by, it's a cactus. It's not a problem, you just get somebody to yank that out with a tractor. Beautiful shed. Shed looks like it's been untouched by the storm. So all this could be cleaned up and used. Great space. Plenty of room for a future pool if you ever wanted to. Entertaining. Nice, big, clean shed. Literally looks brand new. It's a cool backyard, very cool. Slopes downhill, fence needs to be tuned up or replaced, either or. You could tune this up, clear it out. Oak trees, you can see lots of birds and things. There's your mango that could be cleaned up. Nice slope down to the water. Metal roof on the boat lift. Boat lift, you know, that could be tuned up as well. Probably works. So we're at extreme low tide. Neighbor's house is in clean, clean condition. That's a newer, that's like a 2020. So that's good. Nice, I mean, this is done well. Slow staircase down. Little spot in the fence right there that could be repaired. Come down on here to the dock. It's got a little gate here, protect a dog or whatnot from the water. The structure of this dock is in great shape. Could use new boards at some point in time, but it certainly wouldn't need to be done right away. This could be sanded, it could be painted. You could get three more years out of this. This could all be weed whacked and cleaned up. You got mangroves right there, which would, it could be trimmed, but you'd also really need to leave some of that alone. This oak tree overhangs the dock, which is gorgeous. We're extreme low tide, you can see. You can see the water level over there. So we're about two and a half feet down on water for the tide. Nice muddy surface down here. 
all sorts of bait fish schooling around, some gar. Now we get out here into the middle where it's nice and deep. It's probably, with the low tide, right where the boat's at, it's probably 20 inches. I see some snappers down there. Got a little fish cleaning station. You know, Parmarine, this can be repaired if it's not working properly. This is a pretty easy system here, but it seems like this is in great shape. So there you're at, Lens. I'm gonna walk around the front of the house for you. Um, this is priced appropriately. I even think you could put an offer in for less. This has to be cash because of the repairs. Nice, humongous driveway for pulling a camper or another boat, anything. Extra storage here. Let me just come around here. Extra storage. You know, you envision this house with a different color paint. There's your newer air conditioning system. More soffit repair. Of course, you're over by Pelham. Pelham Boulevard. It's a main road. Port Charlotte High School down here. Neighbors' houses, vacant lots across the street. There's your bridge. Takes you over towards Rock Creek. Another mango tree in the front. You could either trim that up or get rid of it. Beautiful Bogan V there. Really like this little planter. This could be done really nice. Front porch. Full shade in the morning here. This is nice. This is a big front porch. A little bit of wood rot. It's not that big of a deal. That's the trim boards right here. That's going to be pulled off. New trim boards applied. If there's any wood right there that you're worried about, it could be cut off right about here. Put in a new piece of plywood, nail it in, put the new trim in, caulk it, paint it. You'll never know. That doesn't scare me. It's just maintenance. Just things you have to do. Double gate, vacant lot. City water. City sewer. It's all nice. Big driveway. Park both cars here. Use the garage storage. So there you have it, Lens. Let me know what you think.